I was not gonna film, but here we are. I don't even know if this is gonna get posted. I am just so nervous. What time is it? 20 past seven. I need to get up, I need to get ready, and I need to go and get these results because all oh my days. I don't know about anyone else, but I could literally live my whole life happily not knowing what I got in these exams. Honestly, I'm so nervous. I literally just got dressed. This is my outfit. I'll show you in the mirror. I've got my shoes on. I'm literally ready to go now. Woo. Cargo's top. These are my 2022 GCSE predictions. So English language. I actually did try really hard on that. So I'm hoping for a five. I'm not the best at English, guys. Like... Yeah, I'm just not. So I'm hoping for a five in English. Yeah, I'd be so happy with that. English literature, I find worse than English language. So four or five, it better be a five. Maths, five. I'm targeted a seven, but I found the exam so hard. Spanish, two, a three. No comprende el español. Um, not for me. History, I messed up on one of the exams. All the rest I did fine. It's annoying because I would be like wanting an A in history because I actually really enjoy history, but who knows? Because I missed one up. What else is the drama? Six, ah, uh, six. So I've already got that. Ari, seven. Or oh, science, a six. All I need, guys, this is all I need. I need a six in science so I can do biology level. But my chemistry and my physics brings it down. Do you know what I mean? Like, I want A. I need a 5 in maths and English, obviously, for psychology. I'm gonna go now though, so I'll see you in the car, but I'm so nervous. Let's go. Right, we are just going to go get my results now. Mm, exciting. No, it's not. I'm genuinely so nervous. You will be fine, and what will be, will be. Mm. Yeah. We're so close to school now, we're about 10 minutes away, and yeah. I'm just going to open them, hopefully by myself, and hopefully it passes. I don't care about Spanish though, that is the one that I genuinely don't care about, like I've read it all from year 7, so I'm going to fail Spanish, but <laughs> everything else is quite pass. I am back from the GCSEs. Oh, I'm very happy. Guys, what do you think? Do you think Stanley looks like a rat? I am so happy. Genuinely, I am so proud of myself, and... I'll tell you my results now. So, open up the paper. Results. <laughs> History, I got a six. Yay! I'm really happy about that because I thought I really, well I did mess up one of the exams and a six, it's a six. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm really happy about that. English Lit, I got a five. Again, really happy about that. I'm not gonna lie, every time I do English Literature in the mock, I literally just know about Scriba Pass, so I am really happy about that and I'm really bad at English, aren't I, Mom? No. Wait for this one. English language is six. Like, what? Honestly, my target group was a five. I was well happy about that. Honestly, guys, if I could give you one tip. Oh, no, you guys won't get that because you don't have the um, info. But I literally just, like, memorised. I didn't obviously do plagiarism, but I, like, memorised grade nine stuff and was like, yeah. Drama, I got a six, happy about that. Maths, I got a five. I don't know, I feel like with maths, I am happy with my five, like really, really happy. Except I was, my target grade was a seven. So, <laughs> but I knew that I wasn't gonna get a seven, but I did think, oh, maybe I could get a six. I was only like 10 points off a six, because I have looked at the, um, what's it called, mum? Grade boundaries, very strong five, which I am very happy about. And obviously all I needed was a pass, so I'm literally not fussed in the slightest. Like I got a five in maths. I can live with that, <laughs> but yeah, it, it was a bit, because obviously I could have done that on Louis without revising, but whatever. And design, I got a five, even though they told me that I was going to get a six. Didn't they say that I was going to get a six, almost a seven, mum? Mm -hmm. And I got a five, so <laughs> make that make sense. Honestly, to be honest, I don't actually care about art in the slightest, like I've passed, that's it, like whatever. I, mean, I got a seven, so yeah, and I literally was like 10 marks away from an A, so now I'm thinking, I really am thinking, do I do REA level? I don't know. I don't know, because right now I'm doing psychology. But do I want to switch it? I don't, I don't, I'm really, <laughs> I don't know. And then science, I got a 6-6. Six, six. So yeah, 
I'm very happy about that. That is my GCSE results 2022. Now I'm going to go celebrating these with my friends. So I don't have to reset anything and I literally have the grades to do my A-levels. So just a remembrance guys. Just a little top tip. GCSEs, if you have not got the grades you wanted, like it genuinely, it doesn't matter. Does it mom? Does it matter? No, you can always reset. You can always reset. I feel like GCSEs nowadays, they just like need to be cancelled. I'm not even going to lie. Like, what actually is the point? Sorry, but I was doing GCSEs like art and stuff on Spanish. Oh, God's sake. I forgot to tell you what I got in Spanish. I got a free. Of course I missed that one out. I'm literally missing that out when I tell everyone what I've got. Because, like... <laughs> Yeah, I just don't even class it. You think she should have a remark and an ask. Really, why? Because you think she's so close to getting sick. Really? I don't know. I, to be honest, I don't. I genuinely don't care. Like, I've, I've passed and that's all I needed. Like, I needed a five to go do what I'm doing or above. Like, honestly, like, do you know what I mean? I've got what I needed. Like, what is the point? Tell me what you got on your math, on your math score then. God. 115. <gasps> what was it? 121 to get a six. That's annoying. Oh well, I don't care. The six would have been nice, but I'm happy with the five. I thought I was going to get a four, so I'm really not complaining. These yeses are over, and I'm so glad.